Perfect. All right. Well, welcome everyone to our marketing revival um, presentation. We hope you guys enjoy. My name is Isabella and um, this is my teammate, Joseph. Hello. All right. So today you can expect us to talk about a little bit who the team is, um, the lessons we've learned so far since restarting the marketing team, um, how our social media is looking like and some SOPs that we are developing. Yes. Alrighty, so we'll go, I'll go through the team. It's uh, it's Isa as well as uh, Damar, Edward, Marin, and myself. Um, uh, all of these folks have been doing a great job since uh, the marketing team has kind of gotten a little more active since I want to say maybe a little after, like a a month or so after the last release party. Um, so very grateful for for all these folks. And if anyone else is interested or to learn more, obviously we'll learn about that. But we're open to any any new members as well. So this is some of our social media, our Instagram and Twitter. As you can see, this is a post that Daymar um, worked on. Uh, it was like for the F37 beta release. And so we just did a little Instagram post on that and posted it on our stories as well. So Daymar did, he does basically almost all of the artwork that we have been posting, which is awesome. Um, and then that's like a Twitter post that we worked on from Nest. It's just like a quick little everyone who came and um, kind of a recapping who all showed up to that event. Um, and then this is the Fedora Magazine presentation. So it was a campaign that we worked on with Apple and Joseph put this all together um, and he posted it on the Fedora Magazine. So if anyone has a chance and wants to check that out and see how they can support Apple, you can check that out as well. Uh, on this slide, we'll go through, I guess, some of the kind of where, where we were and where we are now and how that will transition into what we want to try um, next. So um, we had our fearless leader, Edward, who was basically, he, he was the most consistent part and kind of the cornerstone of the team, uh, of the marketing team for, I think, I think maybe a couple of years, if not maybe longer. I know he's been very consistent there. So he was the person that I was able to connect with um, when I joined the team and when Issa and Damar joined the team uh, around the release of, of Fedora 36. So uh, we got together, we we're trying to figure, okay, how can we move forward? And one of the ideas that we had was, what if uh, as a target, we could have um, a monthly marketing campaign? So the idea was, let's have something, maybe something that isn't getting talked about or getting the exposure that we wanted to have in the Fedora project, uh, team up with them, develop some content on in one month, then in the following month, that content will be published. And then uh, we, we just continue that cycle. And so the Apple campaign was the first uh, instance of that where uh, we worked on some uh, social media posts for Apple. I know um, Apple had some talks going on, so they took advantage as well and uh, developed a survey. So that went out in some of our social media, in, in Nest as well, and in other opportunities they had as well. And then we had a blog post figuring, hey, if anyone is maybe on the Fedora Magazine side too, let's try to put something that talks about Apple in there. And so the idea was over the course of the month, you're you're hearing about up on different places and so uh, that, that was a general idea for the marketing campaign i don't think it's bad but i guess we'll get into like the actual lessons learned now um i think one point that made it difficult regarding consistency and accountability for the team is it none of us who are working on the marketing team are full-time like red hatters or like any of the latest like, volunteers right i think so, so we have to find ways to do it. And so the sustainability aspect was, was, was um, uh, one of the things that we were running up against, I think a little bit um, a month. We think it's a lot, but I guess for us, maybe it wasn't. So we had to adjust. <laughs> um, so that was one point there. Another point that we wanted to, to fine tune was uh, figuring out who our official team members were going to be. Uh, this isn't so to be like exclusionary or anything like that, right? Anyone can join the team. And really, if, if you're there and, and active in our chat and, and, and providing input, then you're part of the team. Uh, but we wanted to formalize that a little bit more just so that we have um, 
a way of knowing, all right, if, if like Daymar makes some artwork, for example, who are the folks who we really want to make sure get a chance to see it before it goes out? So things like that we wanted to um, fine tune. Uh, the next point regarding the posting calendar, that was the one where I, I think everyone else already knew this. So it was really me going backwards and just re-understanding what it is that we're we're doing in the marketing team. Our main value add is not all kinds of crazy things that technically are in marketing. As of right now, it's, it's really social media and, 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 and being in those channels, being consistent and, and, and leveraging that. And that was, I think, a, a, it currently is a weakness for us that we want to improve with um, the systems and procedures we're, we're going to talk about next. Uh, so uh, posting calendars is one of those things. We didn't have a way of consistently like being, being organized for what do we want to post and when we want to post it and be able to resolve that. And the last point regarding tickets versus discussions. So those are GitLab tickets. Um, we felt it wasn't just that. It's also just a lot of what we were doing was spread out across like a HackMD and then the chat and then a discussion post and then a GitLab ticket and then a meeting. But there was that note taken or, you know, it was all over the place. So we want to try to simplify things a little bit. The more I think about it, the more I think we're just becoming more in line with how other teams work. So maybe these are just growing pains from folks who who maybe aren't used to this type of workflow, but um, I'm glad that we learned it. Uh, marketing campaigns might probably go on the back burner now, but I think that what we're transitioning to now is going to do a better job of supporting um, the, the, the folks who are wanting to spend time on social media. So I'll let Isa cover that. From our lessons learned, we created a few standard operating procedures. Um, so kind of how to join the team, it's still a little bit informal, but we do we are developing an SOP to have on the marketing docs just so people have like a little bit of guidance if they do want to join. So it's kind of um, just reaching out to us in the chat, talking to one of us, attending some of the meetings. There's not a complete formal way yet, but just if people wanted to know how they could help out, it'll be there. Um, and so how to request a social media post or request um, help with promoting your team within Fedora. We want to just focus on GitLab tickets. And so open up an issue there. And um, on the SOP, it'll have uh, how we want it to be formatted for us as a team to understand and look through and um, decide how we're going to take action with each one of those issues. Um, and then we also are going to have in our SOPs how we're going to run our meetings. So, the format of um, having it text based was a little difficult. If you had missed a meeting, there was hard to kind of go back and read everyone's thoughts. So we thought that the best way for us to transition into meetings is now kind of doing a um, video call or audio meeting and you don't have to be on video or on audio. Uh, you can just reply on chat. And we're going to go ahead and record those and then upload those on PeerTube once we understand how to do that completely. We haven't had a session, a meeting like that yet, but that is our plan and our goal. So hopefully our next marketing meeting will look like that. Um, and then in the GitLab issues, we are going to start labeling them, um, have them as a social media, have them as priority. And so if you go into the, our GitLab, you can see what we are working on. So there is full transparency within the team and within the entire community. So um, here is the uh, QR code for our matrix uh, chat room. If you want to drop in there, I think that's really going to be the main between that and maybe some more topic based things on, on the GitLab. The matrix is going to be where you want to go. If you want to join, you got a question, whatever it is on an informal stay, uh, just uh, hop into our matrix. Um, and I think we will have a link that if we don't provide it now, we'll provide it at some point um, at the end of the session. And then yeah, I don't know, Asa, if you wanted to add any on these, but yeah, these, these, these are the Instagram and the, the Twitter as well, if you um, wanted to follow yes. us there. Sorry, I was just getting the link for that to send. In oh, okay, my bad. <laughs> no, you're fine. There's a link for the Instagram if you are not able to use the QR code. And then here is the Twitter link. Yeah, so you guys can just like follow us there as well and see what we're working on, what we're posting. We post like upcoming events. Um, we recently posted the Apple campaign that Joseph had worked on. We posted it a lot later on social media than it was posted on the Fedora magazine, but 
that was um there was some really cool artwork there as well that was done by Daymar. yes okay and then um the GitLab, which as you said that's what we're going to try to focus uh, more of our conversations in so if um, if we're talking about things in general or just having conversations that'll happen on matrix and if we're talking about hey for this specific social media post you know here are our, our thoughts or here's some long form discussion on like a decision we want to try to keep that in the tickets that isn't to say we're not going to be in fedora discussions i think we, we will and there will be times for that but um to have like two and then it's like you say something in the discussion and then you say something and it's it, it just we want to like prioritize the GitLab and then it just be more intentional when we reach out to the rest of the community uh through the um the, the discussion board so here's the GitLab if you would like to check on on those things or submit uh, ideas yes we are at the end we are open yes. for questions now yes so i do see one question <clears throat> it says Sorry. Do you see the marketing group running campaigns that the rest of us can participate in as working groups? I think the campaigns right now, we still don't have like an exact SOP of how we want to run those. So those are kind of, as Joseph said, on the back burner, we aren't focused on them. If a working group does come to us with like a passion for wanting a campaign, we can totally help out with that and um, work on it with them. Uh, but we don't have any ideas for teams yet. We think right now we're just trying to focus on how we want the marketing group to be sustainable before kind of going into um, many different areas and spreading ourselves a little too thin. Yeah. Um, what I'll add there is it's not that it's going to go away entirely, just maybe that specific framework for it, because it's in, in an ideal world, it'd be like, oh, well, marketing campaign, like, oh, for the month we're covering, um, let's say like a Fedora core OS. So man, we're covering Fedora core OS. And it's like, man, here's Twitter posts and here's Instagram and here's blog posts and here's a podcast and here's a video. There'd be all kinds of things that we could do. But with where we are right now and, and also skill set wise, it basically amounts to different social media posts, right? So it might be like a, a tweet thread, at the beginning of the month, another tweet thread toward the end of the month. So uh, because it's simpler, we want to try to com uh, not combat it, um, tackle it in a um, a diff just a different way than what we were doing before. So what it amounts to in terms of like, if, if you are a group or if you're a team who are like, hey, we, we'd like some marketing, uh, just reach out to us. And I think it'll be on a case by case basis. We'll figure out if that's just something where people just want like a post, like you have an event coming up, like the test days, for example. Hey, we have this coming up. We'd love a, a post about that. That could be its own ticket. Um, and if you want something more involved, then we can outline that in a ticket and, and tackle that. But we're not constrained by the monthly aspect. So that, that's what I mean by like trying to shake off the bits of the of the framework that aren't really going to work for us and um, just to have the flexibility for either planning the small things or the large things. I hope that answers questions. I don't want to scare anyone away from start, from submitting things. Please submit things and we'll just talk about it and we'll figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> um, so Marie asked, do you see, uh, do you foresee doing a regular marketing campaign around each release? So for the re releases, I feel like that is um, easier for us because, I mean, I feel like we have a lot of time to prepare for that. Um, but there isn't like a set plan, but like I don't see why not we why we wouldn't be able to keep up with that for each release. <clears throat> yeah. And I think that we could with with more time than rather just like one month beforehand, which is. I mean, so technically speaking, this is kind of in lessons learned, but like we had the Apple campaign and the next campaign was supposed to be for, for 30, 37. So that is, that is part of the learning is, Oh wow. One month. And really what we're going to do is just like some, some, some posts it's for, for something that's supposed to be like the, a campaign for a whole, like a whole new release, maybe with, with more time, we can see how we can diversify that and what we can uh, plan it in advance so that it's not just spamming Fedora 37 is coming. Um, so yeah, we would like to add, maybe that'll be a ticket for Fedora 38 to maybe as of now, start thinking about what kind of things we wanna have lined up. And and that way we have a better idea of, of what we'll be able to do 
at that time. So the next question is, does the Fedora marketing team have a presence on Mastodon? Um, uh, <laughs> I knew this was coming. <laughs> go for, Joseph, go. you can go ahead and answer that. All right. So if actually, I, I I can't because I'm sharing. I, or let me, be, let me, I can unshare real quick and pull the thread. There is a thread going on that is discussing that. So let me pull it up here. Mastodon. See, I looked it up. <laughs> I think it was this one. This is the one. No, no, it's not. This is a more recent one. But there's a thread. Well, I don't have a master on now. Where I, I gave some context and then I linked to like a previous thing. Long story short, this is something that we had talked about before. And um, that'll be a thread to continue that conversation. I know that um, kind of the direction that we had settled on was to. Hold on, let me just go back to the full screen. The direction we had settled on was we're not giving even Twitter and Instagram and some of the mainstream um, channels a lot of love, even as of now, or at least at the time of writing. Now we're, do we're doing more and we hope to continue to do more. But um, it's not just a matter of posting content on those feed on those channels. It's also about engagement as well. Uh, so that was one point that we were hesitant about, I think. So that's that's like maybe a manpower issue. So I I, I don't think that that can't be resolved. But I, I, again, there's there's more to it. And I think another question we had, which might be an answer to out there because other projects are on Mastodon, is a question of how to share credentials. Because I know there's a better way to do that on Twitter, where you can give access to people to post to a Twitter account. Uh, without giving them credentials, whereas I don't know if that exists on Mastodon. If it does, please let us know because that'll be, you know, that's that's one less hurdle to, to get us in that direction. Um, and I know it's, you know, Mastodon is fast, Mastodon is centralized, Mastodon looks super cool, and I think that it, it'd be a, a good place to be, but we don't want to do it kind of halfway. And um, so I would encourage you, if you, you know, give your feedback in that discussion thread and also look at the 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 discussion thread that I link in there um, for the council ticket where there was some feedback provided by um, the council <laughs> so we can talk about it you know where it's not we don't want to poo poo mastodon uh, we just want to do it right exactly so the next question is what do you need the most in terms of help besides designing writing posting um. Jeff says that they run their own marketing firm, but as a result, I have very sparse time left. Um, okay, so what do we need in terms of help? Um, I think we can use help with, with anything, honestly. Um, whatever you feel like you could contribute to the team would help us a lot. We are a small team, so just having just more people on it would help us as well. Um, if you see that we're missing a gap somewhere and you feel like you could help us with that, or even just tell us, oh, um, I think that you guys should just give us some advice, that would be helpful as well. Um, if you don't have time to necessarily own a project. Yes. What do you Mentorship think? Joseph? would also be cool. Yeah, which I know we're going to have a little bit. I know Justin is already, he's given some some great feedback that we're, we're appreciative of and, and are going to integrate. Um, I would say the same thing. I think Ben Power, wise if, if there are more people thinking of different social media posts and then thinking also of, of captions or have some design skills to help do artwork, um, that helps to spread the load and also can, can help to put more out there. Um, I would also say skill set wise, if you if you have audio production experience, that would help for the Fedora podcast or, or anything else that we'd want to do audio related. Um, if you have video production skills, I don't, I, mean, I could be wrong, but I don't think we really have that skill set. So um, if we have a dream of seeing like a Fedora project channel that is doing all kinds of things on YouTube um, and you have that skill set, you can help lead that. And we can support you um, in, in other ways. But I think those would be the two. And obviously if you're like, in marketing <laughs> that'd be great <laughs> uh, like like working on that um would also be helpful but really it'd be anyone who's who's interested in it and i would also say if you're a non-technical person 
which I, I think would go without saying, but if you're a non-technical person looking to dip your toe into contributing to open source, we are one of, of several great teams that you could consider to to kind of see, hey, how can, how can I help? And we can uh, work on it together. Okay, so next question. What about metrics and things that we need as WGs that should shape our efforts? Do you think that you will working with a lot more of the BI details there? Do you not fully understand this question? Um, I think if I, I'm going to ask the question back and then answer that question. And hopefully I've landed close to, okay. <laughs> to, to what the ask is. Uh, I, I'm assuming it's asking about like how, how we could get metrics or what are metrics that we could set up in order to see how uh, successful different attempts or posts are. Um, I know that social media platforms themselves will give some feedback back. Like I know I was very happy about this, but I posted the video of Matthew Miller opening up, I think it was a framework laptop with Fedora on it. Not opening it up, I think he had set it up. It was the most recent video that he was featured in, and it was great to see all the positive <laughs> metrics on the Reddit post. Um, so we have those things. Besides that, I don't think we have a lot, or I'm not familiar with those things, besides maybe just in general folks like downloading the ISOs and what have you. If we know of other ways to collect metrics, that'd be great. But another thing that we want to be aware of is or I don't know, maybe this is just me. We haven't actually talked about this at all, but I know that with with Linux and with free and open source um, software, there's also overlap with um, the privacy community as well. And so, and not to, not to touch on like a very spicy topic, but a lot of like advertising and marketing in the non-FOS space will lean on metrics gathering methods that I think we would be more apprehensive of. So there's that balancing act too. We don't want to be gathering metrics, and then everyone is like, "Whoa, what are you doing there, guys?" So we could talk about. It. I mean, this this is literally the first time that that question has come up, so I think that can be uh, something we want to be aware of. Okay, so the next question is: Have you considered including community moderators of other social channels into outreach for the campaigns? For example, working with Reddit, Twitter, Telegram community mods when sharing new updates and campaigns. We have not done that, but that would be, I think, a good idea. Yeah. Um, I am in the Discord, and I am following the Reddit. I did find that a lot of the things that get posted on, like, the Fedora Twitter and the Fedora magazine also already like i don't know they just showed up on the reddit so i don't know i don't know if it's the community or i don't know if the folks who are running those projects who are also posting in those spaces but for sure if um we got to a place where we wanted to try to be more more plugged in i think that's a great idea um okay so marie said that more of a comment it would be really cool to see the marketing team get involved in promoting fedora's long-term strategy goal mentorship and accessibility yeah, I think yes. so. I agree. Yes, um, that's very cool. Yeah. All right. So then last question, David. My sense of what marketing needs most is content that they can use across all areas of publication and enablement. Do you see this as a big requirement? What do you think? Um. <clears throat> I, I think that the the content is out there, but I think we have to do we, we have to go find it basically, right? There are some things where I we, we know where to look. Like I know like looking at the Friday facts, the Ben posts and the CPE updates and the Fedora magazine as well. Um, there may be things going on in the mailing list that I, I haven't really dived into the mailing lists. Um, so those would be good things to be aware of. Because I guess a lot of the content comes from talking about what are, what are teams doing, what are updates that are coming out of teams. And the, the, the content is out there. We just have to 
see, okay, if, if we don't have a specific announcement that we want to make or, or something like that, and what is something that we just want to talk about that's cool about the Fedora project? Yeah. Um, but if you have ideas like, hey, hey, this is a cool thing or this is a cool value, it, literally any kind of social media post idea that we're, if, if you were in charge of the social media Twitter, of, of, of the Fedora Twitter, and thought to yourself, hey, this would be a great feat, make a ticket. As I raise, I don't know. Maybe maybe we're gonna get a barrage. I don't know. But it, I guess my my sense as of now is, if there's something that you would like to see tweeted from the the Fedora project, make it as a ticket, and we can talk about it. Yeah, I think as a team, we're foc we're trying to focus on how to manage the work, so we can keep the team sustainable long term, and so that's kind of. Our focus when we first started, it was kind of like, let's get content out. And from the lessons that we learned, it's now how can we best organize everything to push content out that is organized and sustainable for the team in the long term. So if someone isn't able to commit to the team for a certain amount of time, that's OK. We have a certain process in order that the other team can take over so we don't feel that too much weight is being put on just any one person. So Marie said, I think it would be great if the marketing team had guidelines and a template for working groups and teams to submit so that it is very easy for the marketing team to translate that into post. Yeah. There in the SOP, well, you, you said you, you basically did that. <laughs> we just have to put it on the documentation. Yeah. Yeah, we're just working on getting that up there. We're going to see like with the SOPs we have right now that we worked on and um, are going to upload to the docs, uh, see how well the, that we work with that and then kind of edit after yeah. we have some feedback and see how things go. Um, but it is 12.02 now, so I feel like we're running a little over. Um, Thank you everyone for tuning in and for all the feedback. It's very much appreciative. Um, thank you, Joseph, for doing this talk as well. No, oh, thank mm -hmm. you guys. I'm gonna do a, a quick shout out to everyone on the team, Isa, Damar, Maureen, Edward. I mean, I don't wanna miss anyone. And again. yourself as well. Yeah, but I just talk a lot. That's that's easy. Thank you guys, because yeah. you guys have been great. You guys have all the social media post ideas, you guys, point out when I, I, I'm silly and don't realize that something is a button on Twitter or whatever. <laughs> and Damar as well on, on the well, making the graphics and Marin as well. She, she made our logo, which you can see if you go to our matrix and Edward just being a rock. Just very grateful for all you guys. So thank you very much. So thank said, you to right. you as well, Joseph. Yeah, <laughs> all, right, all right, everyone. Well, we hope you enjoyed the rest of your day. Um, see you guys around. Bye. Ready. Bye.